Uh, hello everybody, this is Dusty Circuit here for another mod tutorial. This time around, of it's going to be of uh, Mini HUD. And this is a tutorial I've been meaning to make for a long time, but haven't gotten around to it. So, let's just, I guess, start off with a new instance. And then you get and then you install fabric and then then I'll go and grab the other mods we need. So, so once you have your mini HUD installed, and you can already notice text in the upper left corner. Let them just hit escape, then go to, go to your mods. Then mini HUD and the, these buttons you don't have to really worry about, but there's this one called configure. And you get all this, all these different options. But what we're most need to focus on is first just scroll down until you see font scale. And what I typically do is change this to one. So, so of course, so, so our text is now visible. I mean, you could make this a little bit bigger, but I typically, I usually go with one. So, Next, I, I would see this other other key I like to have is this toggle key so that it's you can toggle the text on or off at any time. And and over here is where you can basically toggle all these different different things on or off. And, like for instance, I can have, I can have that, so I like, like speed, and like, like, like any kind of, uh, like I, I, I guess you can see I could toggle any of these that I, any of those that I want, and then they'll show up on the screen. And another feature of the Mabini HUD I like to use, and how to enable that, is the is the, the light level and the indicator. And you can toggle that on or off with using. Well, I like to use L. And Basically, this is indicating light levels, and if it has the yellow box around it, it's basically if it's 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 only that dark if it's nighttime. And as you can see, if I place a torch, it, all that goes away, and it's now the, the numbers turn green. So if so if it's red, mobs can spawn, and if it's green, mobs can't spawn. And if, if we go into a cave, it will look a little bit different. If we could find a cave.
See over here, there, there's red boxes now, which means mobs always can spawn all the time. Uh, of course, if we put a torch here, it'll the, the, those numbers will turn green. And this is a very, this is a very handy feature that I I use on ACO to like if there's any like it's a, it's really helpful for lighting. Like if like if you want to stop mobs spawning because it's it's nothing more annoying than getting your whole area mostly lit up, but there's a couple of spots that are dark and then. Nothing more annoying than a creeper coming out of nowhere. And one other feature of Mini HUD I, I use a lot. So it has to do with shulker boxes. So if I have... I have a shulker box and put items in it. Of course, normally you can like you can kind of see the first five items, but then it just says 17 more. But that's just how, how the vanilla way to see I items in a shulker box. But if I go to my my mini HUD configs again, uh. If I go to Shulker Box Preview, then change that to True. And this it doesn't it just it just doesn't work in the creative inventory, but in the survival inventory. We can see what items are in our shulker box without even opening it if we hold shift. And what's also pretty cool is even like 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 if there's a different it's a different color shulker box, it'll show up as a different color or as, as there's that color which is really cool and that's really all of the the, the features of uh, the mini HUD that I use and this mod has a lot more features like like there's like there's more different like like infos that I that that I could use like for instance there's this one which shows uh, regions which could be useful for you if you're I don't know say if you're trying if you want to clear out a certain area of your map. Or if you want to know where all your regions are, that that you could see that in game. And and there's also a slime chunks, which displays slime chunks. But unless you have a certain mod installed on your server, these won't work on a server. Um, only in, in single player. Uh, but then, of course, there's all your slime chunks. So anyway, that was just some of the basics of how to use uh, Mini HUD. And I've been meaning to make this video for a while, as uh, many of my viewers have kind of wondered about, like, well, how... Like, like what, what, what the mod is, and hopefully this explanation of it uh, helps most of, um, of my viewers. And hopefully you'll be able to 
install this mod and make use of it. So, thank you for watching. Uh, remember, remember, rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for what's next on my channel, and peace out.